because I'm 16 years old. I don't want to die. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? This is Joss with Jay Show Horror. Today I'm going to be ranking every single season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Every season goes from like pretty good all the way to, to spectacular. So even the season at the bottom, I still really enjoy. I love these characters. I love some of these storylines and just overall this show worked for me. It was just a really fun story show at times and very suspenseful show too now this show had seven seasons in total coming in and dead last i have to put season seven at number seven i did enjoy season seven quite a bit i think the storyline was great for this season i and i love the finale episode chosen that is a great series finale and i like the 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 gang fighting the first throughout the season also willow is still kind of trying to deal with tara's death throughout i also love that spike has got his soul back and the first uses that to manipulate spike also throughout the season and i do like the storyline of the first and his bringers they're going around they're trying to kill every potential slayer in the world so buffy and giles does start getting all these slayers and they all they start training in them a great final season storyline but just a, a huge chunk of this season almost feels like nothing's happening and that that's kind of why it's at the bottom and also i i love principal wood i thought he was a great addition i also love that we do get faith towards the end of the season too with the slayer storyline she really had to be there for the end also felt like a lot of the characters that we know and love didn't get a whole lot of screen time and we barely got to know any of the slayer too throughout the season there is a lot of Buffy giving speeches to these girls which was okay but after a while in the season I'm thinking come on let's get more exciting episodes but the series finale is so awesome so action-packed and I love the ending storyline of this series of every potential slayer in the world does get power and now everybody could be a slayer I think Buffy is done after the last episode just a smile on her face and the final shot of Buffy. Just the final episode almost makes this whole season worth it. Just as far as the whole series go, I definitely have to give season seven at number seven. Now the bottom two seasons I think are almost equal, but I found this season to be slightly more entertaining than season seven, even though I like the story of season seven better. But coming in at number six, I am gonna give it to season four. This is the season, the first season in college. Riley is introduced in this season. Spike gets the chip in his head this season, and he kind of sort to start to become part of the Scooby gang. There is a lot of entertaining fun episodes here, but I don't think nothing in this season is like super spectacular either. This is also the last season with Oz. I wish his exit was a little better in this than what we got. I, I liked Oz so much and I just kind of think he just kind of left the show without a great ending. But we do get introduced to Tara and Willow's relationship in this. Of course, I love those two together and I, I end up loving Tara so much so in this season also has like one of the best episodes ever in this series hush such a fun episode and those those villains are so scary and I they could have used them more but since they're only in one episode they're just great in that one episode I also think the big bad of this season is kind of weak it was Adam he was like a half demon half human I just really cannot get behind that villain he was okay and I like how the gang kind of came together and they all became one at the end to fight Adam so I did like that itself but this season was a little more forgettable than some of the higher seasons I enjoyed it quite a bit but just nothing amazing I, I think season four is fun just don't expect top tier Buffy this season all right from here on out I like pretty much 
love every season. I think they're all really good to great from here. And I like, I would never mind watching any of these seasons over again. So coming in at number four is season one. Now I kind of love season one. It's like a really short season. You're kind of really getting to introduce the characters and man, Willow was like so cute and awkward in season one. I just kind of like the beginnings of this series. It is a lot of like monster of the week episodes nothing like not a really great like big story arc going on i do love i do like the master quite a bit i just wish he was used a lot more and i kind of wish the season finale was two episodes but i think like the when buffy says she's only 16 and she doesn't want to die that was like the first like true great acting from sarah michelle geller in this season and i also think willow starts to do really good at the end of the season too and it's just kind of funny that xander's just some horny teenager in the first season and cordelia is okay too she's definitely in season two a lot more but it's just kind of fun to go back and watch like the early beginnings they're definitely trying to figure out exactly what they want this show to be but there's still a lot of funny moments there is some really great episodes in this season like angel that's a great episode i like the invisible girl episode and then the season finale is a great episode in itself but yeah season one is i i think season one is really good and I, I think it's really enjoyable to see the early stuff of Buffy even though it's not like top tier Buffy yet but yeah season one is really really fun season one was number five coming in at number four I'm gonna give it to right in the middle of the series I think is season six I actually really, really like season six overall, but I kind of can't stand the trio of villains. You got Warren, Andrew, and Jonathan. Never really took these villains seriously, but like everything surrounding them in this season, I really like. And I, I kind of wish Giles was in, in the season more, but that's like my two main complaints. Like the rest of the season, I think is great. I think the Dark Willow storyline is so well done. I think Allison Hannigan does such a great job in this season and the, I love the opening of the season where they bring Buffy back from the dead and she was actually in heaven and they all thought they pulled her out of hell but she was in heaven so that storyline kind of made for a little bit of a depressing season but they even have that musical episode once more with filling which is so super super fun but since all the villain stuff and the there's just a few things that bring it down a little bit and that's why I got season six right in the middle of my ranking. Still love this season so much and man who would have loved to see more Dark Willow. She only had a few episodes and the way Willow killed Warren was so awesome where she ripped all the skin off. Like I was legit scared of Willow at the end of this season. The top three seasons of Buffy is so great. It's pretty much top notch from here on out. I love these top three seasons so much. And some of the best stuff in television, I think, came out of these top three seasons. But coming in at number three, I'm going to give it to season three. Now, this season, I love that they introduced Faith in this season. And the mayor, I think, is a great villain where he wants to turn into a, a demon. So that's like this story arc for the entire season i also love that this season is kind of like the end of an era for buffy also because it's the last season in high school so it kind of feels like the first ending of this series and by this point i actually even like cordelia by season three and just a lot of great stuff this season and faith is great angel's great and like the acting is a lot is going on a lot better this season and i like the first episode too that followed season two where buffy's out of town and she's trying to deal with what she had to do to angel and i like always like how the gang always is still fighting when buffy's gone and just and then like the climax of the season is so awesome like with them fighting a giant demon snake and they actually destroy the high school which the high school's out for like all the way until season seven and I also kind of like the payoff at the prom where they Buffy gets the class protector award and I loved that scene so much and it really made for like this feels like an ending of the high school era of Buffy so I don't have a whole lot of complaints for this season I think it's pretty much top-notch season 
This is the last season. Angel is in two, and I loved Angel. I wish I kind of made sense why he left, but I would have loved to have Angel on the show the entire time. But the show kind of got became different and kind of became still a great show without Angel. But I loved his character so much; it was hard to see him leave after this season. And I love like the all the fights in between Buffy and Faith throughout the season. Like they were all great, especially the fight in the the part one of the season finale. Like that fight was so awesome when Faith fell off the roof and fell onto a truck and ended up in a coma. This season was really fun, but it also was very suspenseful at times too. Just love season three overall. All right, number two, man, number two is season two. Season two is so great. I, I think the second half is like spectacular Buffy. The first half starts off a little slow, like, but there's still a lot of great episodes in the first half. But this Angela storyline might actually be my favorite storyline of the series as like a little story arc because man, David Boreanaz flipped the script and he was he was great as good angel but he's I think he's even better as Angelus he just is so awesome as a, a villain and I think Joss Whedon gave him his own show because of his acting as Angelus it was just so good like him and Buffy just slept together and he had a true moment of happiness and that's when he he loses his soul and becomes Angelus so like the second half of this season is very suspenseful it's almost non-stop like i love the second half like so much and that's when buffy really started a fire on all cylinders and innocence is the episode where david boreanis or angel does lose a soul and talk about great stuff he likes messing with buffy he doesn't just want to kill buffy he likes messing with her too and like messing with her head and that's one great thing about angel when he's angelus he doesn't just kill you right off. He just he will mess with you forever before he ev ever does kill you. He wants to make you crazy over killing you. And I do think the death of Miss Calendar is what, the first real death of the series. And I thought her her chase, the chase scene, and everything leading to her death was super suspenseful. And the way it was shot was so great. Anthony Stewart head had some great acting as Giles too because he just lost Jenny and he he like wants revenge and the finale oh my gosh where Buffy had to kill Angel herself and throw him into the vortex to close it again and Angel does end up in a hell dimension and Buffy leaves town at the end of the episode and she never even says bye to her friends. Talk about a great season closer and you definitely want to watch the next episode like right after that. So yeah, season two is so freaking great in this series. I love season two. But coming in at number one, if you saw my review, I basically gloated about this season. This is my favorite season of Buffy, season five. Now, this season has, does almost pretty much everything right. There isn't really any bad episode this season. The story like arc is such a great arc. And they introduced Dawn in this season. And I love how the mystery of it at the beginning because Dawn just shows up in season five. So I'm like instantly hooked by that. Who is Dawn? Buffy did not have a sister the first four seasons. Why is this girl here? What is going on? And the story of Dawn being the key and Glory had to get back to her dimension. And like it's almost non-stop action and also non-stop heartbreaking because Buffy is dealing with Joyce's illness and of course it has probably the best episode of the series the body when Joyce dies and like just that entire episode is spectacular like no music it just it feels like the most real and heartbreaking episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and I think Glory is my favorite villain of this entire series. I love Caleb in season 7, but I think he should have been on a lot more episodes. So Glory is my favorite villain by far. She's really fun. She still feels like a, a threat. Like every time she shows up, I think she is going to hurt somebody. I think she is going to kill people to get the key. And I like the slow reveal of what the key is of the season. And this season was intended to be the fun final season of the series. And you could definitely tell that when you're watching this season. Like 
they go for broke this season. They try to do everything top notch this entire season and they succeeded. I think this is the perfect Scooby gang too with Tara, Anya, Xander, Willow, Buffy, Don, Giles. Like I think that was the best group. And the final episode, oh my gosh, the final episode, The Gift. It's such a great episode and like it's very suspenseful. They're, they're trying to get to Don before she bleeds out. And I love the final conversation with Buffy and Don and Buffy ends up sacrificing herself. And I think that would have been a perfect ending to the series. I'm really happy they did more seasons. I do love season six. So, but as a final season, season five would have been perfect. And I think it's the most consistent, perfect season of Buffy. In the final shot of Buffy's grave and it says she saved the world a lot and the way everybody reacted to Buffy's body at the end. Perfect ending to this series. But which season would I watch again like the most? It would definitely be season 5. And give me your ranking for this entire series down below and give me some of the reasons why you're ranking the, the series the way you do. Bye guys. Be brave. Live. For me.